I'm just sitting here. Hi guys, I'm Mara Lee. Welcome back to my channel, Book Omens. I am here today to do the fall time, cozy time tag, and this is going to be real fun. I have some good books picked out. Let's get started. Question number one is Crunching Leaves. The world is full of color. Choose a book that has reds, oranges, yellows on the cover. The book that I decided on was this book, The Onyx Vial by Alexis Lampley. If Alexis Lampley sounds familiar to you, it's because she is the owner of the company Nerdy Post. And through her company, they hand letter and illustrate totally unique fandom artwork. I have been subscribed to her in the past and I love her work. And when I heard that she had written a book, I was down for that. And I picked up a copy. This is autographed and it has a special secret message written in there. The main character in this book is named Ariana Emery and she hides a rare and forbidden talent. She is able to create portals between worlds and between the pages of books. The portals are dangerous, but to Ariana it means freedom. So in Ariana's world there is a tyrant king and books are banned and burned along with their creators. So Ariana disregards the danger of the situation and joins a rebel society. I hope to read it soon. I've had it in a prominent place on my bookcase so it will hopefully catch my eye and I'll pick it up. I'm a complete and total mood reader, so it makes it hard sometimes to have a TBR, but this one is one I would like to get to soon. That's where I've been keeping it on my bookcase. Question number two is Cozy Sweater. It's finally cold enough to don warm fuzzy clothing. So what book gives you the warm fuzzies? I picked The Complete Tales of Winnie the Pooh. I love this book. I read this to my kids when they were little, and it's just so warm and fuzzy. Pooh is such a delightful personality. He is just happy all the time, and some of the quotes from this book are my very favorite. And this in particular is a beautiful illustrated edition I picked up from Barnes & Noble. Just look at the end papers here. So that's my warm and cozy book. Number three is Fall Storm. The rain is howling and the wind is pounding. Choose your favorite book or genre that you like to read on a stormy day. Generally, I like to read slightly spooky mysteries. I'm not really into like deep horror, but I do like suspense and I do like some horror. The book I chose for this is Turn of the Key by Ruth Ware. I read this book earlier this month and it is so good. I don't want to go into too much detail, but it is based loosely on the turn of the screw I've heard and it's very atmospheric. It's spooky and some parts are chilling. Uh, it involves uh, living in a smart house and so the sense of privacy is completely gone. It's pervasive, the feeling of being watched and not having any privacy and never knowing if you're alone or who's watching. I really, really enjoyed this book. It uh, solid five stars for me. Question number four is Cool Crisp Air. What is the coolest character you'd like to trade places with? Now, this might be a little unconventional, but for this question, I thought I would pick my answer as being Death. In particular, the character Death from the Discworld novels by Terry Pratchett. I love this character. He is hilarious. I have another copy. This is one of my favorite books from uh, the Discworld series. And in this particular story, Death himself gets to shine. Uh, he is presumed missing, gone. And that leads to the kind of chaos you always experience when someone in the public service has stopped serving. Question number four is Hot Apple Cider. What underhyped book do you want to see become the next biggest, hottest thing? Now, my answer for this question is a middle grade book. I do enjoy reading middle grade books. I find them just to be fun and cute and quick reads. And uh, so the book that I have chosen for this is called Stew Truly. And also I would add that there's a, a recent sequel that came out and it's called Stew Truly First Kiss. And Stew is just this little wonderful gem of a character. He is, I think he's 13 years old, maybe 12, and he is just so funny. He has the best sense of humor. In the first book, he experiences uh, his first crush, and he falls for a little girl who is a vegetarian. Now, that's not really a problem for him, 
but it might be for his family because his family owns the local butcher store. And uh, well, Stu himself loves meat, but he declare he finds himself declaring to uh, this girl that he is also a vegetarian. And just, you know, the hijinks that happen and, and, and come from that one little lie are really fun to watch. And then in the second book, Need I Say More, just from the title alone, Stu Truly First Kiss, it's really cute. He has a kind of a frenemy nemesis in this book who just seems to be more uh, casual and comfortable with the ladies. And um, he is afraid that the girl that he likes, likes this boy who has the ability to grow chin hairs. He is just so threatened by this lone chin hair that he keeps mentioning. Anyway, the books are hilarious. Uh, Dan Richards is the author and they are so worth checking out. Question number six is coat, scarves, and mittens. The weather has turned cold and it's time to cover up. What's the most embarrassing book cover you own that you like to keep hidden in public? So I don't really read a lot of books that have embarrassing covers, but I would say, <laughs> The main cover that I own that I would say is problematic is Angus Thongs and Full Frontal Snogging by Louise Renison. I mean, clearly this is a pair of underwear on the front cover. When I found this at the local used bookstore, my daughter was like, no, mom, you are not buying that, but I bought it anyway. But I'm not really ashamed of it. This is a very popular YA series, and I have a particular fondness for books that take place in England. Question number seven. What is your favorite fall time comfort foods? Well, I am a person who loves pumpkin everything. I would say not necessarily pumpkin spice. I prefer like pumpkin pie flavored things. And the last question is warm, cozy bonfire. Spread the cozy warmth. Who do you tag? Well, this is only one of my first few videos. So I choose to tag anybody who watches this if you want to do it. I had a lot of fun with this tag. It's my favorite time of year, so I'm really looking forward to it. That's all from me right now. Don't forget to comment down below, like, and subscribe. If you see any other tags that you want me to do, uh, go ahead and comment as well and let me know and I'll be sure to do them. Say hi, I'll say hi back, and I look forward to seeing you guys in the next video. Bye.